What is up, obscure Mike people? Bark, coming at you yet again with something a little bit exciting. Yes, this is a small box. It's the CAD Connect CX-1. Small, little, yellow, different. CAD Connect CX-1, which CAD tells me is the exact same as the CAD Connect CX-2, but a one-channel audio interface that is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, 24-bit 96 kilohertz, dynamic range of 118 dBA, which, if that is true, is pretty decent. Pretty dang decent, especially according to Julian Krauss's meters, levels, all that. I don't remember what it is with the EIN that goes along with that to make the gain range what it is, but I can't remember. Julian Krauss can. Go watch him. He's freaking great. I'm just a guy in a Britney Spears shirt. I'm a dude disguised as another dude pretending to be some other dude from some other place at some other place. I'm a dude disguised as a dude pretending... I don't even remember. I don't remember anything because I'm old and I don't remember shit. Let's take a look at this device real quick. It is little. Like on the front of the device, you've got a monitor out, which is powering my DT770 Pros from Bayer Dynamic 80 ohm headphones. Doing just fine with them. Power indicator light, 48 volt indicator light. We got our quarter inch headphone jack here. Our gain knob, which is currently at 95%. Doesn't have a stepping issue, so to speak, but it does get a lot louder at 97. And a lot louder at 99, 99, 99, 97, 90. There we go. Not really, like... Maybe a maybe just a slight, slight stepping issue. Nothing major, though. Not in anything like the M-Audio Solo. And um, we got a combo jack here. On the back, you've got an unbalanced line output. USB-C port, 48 volts, phantom power on and off switch right there. This thing is hand size. That's what she said. If it's in the palm of your hand, look at this. That is the size of the CAD Audio Connect CX-1. It is pretty small. A couple things about this. The build quality is plastic. It also does not weigh a lot. It also did not come with rubber feet, but it's got little cutouts for the rubber feet. 99% sure it didn't come with any. Yeah, I don't see any. So... You're going to need some super tiny rubbers. That's what she said. Little tiny rubbers for the bottom because it will slide around on your desk without them. Anyways, this thing is $49. $49. Bucks, very small. Throw it in a travel bag. The 24-bit is nice. What was it? 24.96? Yeah, 24-bit 96. Drives an SM7B. Has phantom power. Headphone amp's pretty good. I don't think it's particularly noisy. Again, this is probably smaller than the audio box go from Presonus. At least as far as like height goes, and then the width is real close to the same. I don't have the audio box go anymore, but it's kind of slanted and wedged. This is just a, a just a rectangle, very small, very small, and comes in this little tiny box. I think it's pretty good. Like I'm pretty impressed with it by all means i just think it's a nice little interface needs some rubber on the feet definitely needs some rubber on the feet but man the headphone monitor the uh the preamp seems okay nothing spectacular here we're talking 50 bucks but at the same time not really anything else going on with it connectivity wise you can't run anything else in uh you got that unbalanced red white out for monitors that's fine in my opinion but it is limited. It is a very basic interface, but for 50 bucks, it's a pretty small, cool, and powerful little interface. So, on the BB saw, yeah, what the fudge am I doing? Fudge. Uh, I'm going to say that this for $49 is a seven. It's good. It is definitely worth a buy, especially if you're wanting something very small to throw in a backpack 49 bucks you break it not a huge deal uh, it is plastic you'll have to be careful but 49 bucks super small again like the mvx2u if you're a minimalist like me when it comes to audio gear and you like to just have stuff that'll get the job done but can be taken anywhere with you 
this is pretty darn cool for the price. Again, that's pretty much the bottom of the interface market price-wise, unless you want to grab a Taeyun Q12, which I got laying around here somewhere for 25 bucks. Uh, but 2496, driving an SM7B, headphone amp is good. Can't hate on it whatsoever. But again, it's not perfect. It's not even a nine. It's not even an eight. It's a seven, which to me is worth the purchase. Just what size do you want? What size do you want? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's all I got for you, folks. The CAD Connect CX1 is out of here. Bark is out of here. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Obscure Mikes. Peace out.